Hello, genealogists. This is Craig, and this is Just Genealogy, and this is Book Sunday. You know, my favorite day of the week, where I get to talk about all the books that came into Heritage Books during the week. So I will tell you that I'm currently processing 36 books from the Tennessee Genealogical Society that we've added to our stable of books. I'm looking forward to being able to sell those. They're on the website. Uh, and you can find them by going TNGS hyphen, and that should get you to them. They um, don't have covers yet, and I wanted to see if I could get the covers. All the books have covers, but they are a lot of them are have some sort of semi opaque plastic as part of the cover, and so they don't scan nicely. So I'm waiting for them to send me the electronics of the covers so that I can put the covers up. But I have put the books up. And those are 36 new titles. And they're a catch as catch can. A uh, lot of court minutes. Tennessee Genealogical Society books, 36 books added to Heritage Books. There is a new book from GPC. It's actually three volumes, not two, but I only pulled two of them on... The Royal Descents of 900 Immigrants to the United Colonies, Quebec, and the or the United States, second edition in three volumes. The first edition of the 900 Immigrants was two volumes, and it's not been out that long, but now there's a three-volume set, and it's expensive. But if you're into Royal Descents, then it's an excellent source, and it's now available here at Heritage Books. It was published by genealogical publishing company. I wanted to mention, and I've been holding this book on my desk. It's an old version of a book that we have. It's called A Genealogical Register of the First Settlers of New England by John Farmer. Now, you might wonder why a book written in uh, 1830, um, well, the truth of the matter is, 1829. But this is not the first book. This is a book that was reprinted with additions and corrections by Samuel G. Drake. Farmer did a book first, I think 1827-ish. And then Drake came around behind him and took the same book and added to it and added corrections and that kind of things. And the reason I mention it is because I recently did a talk on the history of genealogy where I learned a whole bunch of stuff I wasn't aware of before. But what I wasn't aware of, this is like in the John Farmer version, the first genealogy book done just to do a genealogy book. The first first family history done just to do it kind of thing. not Unrelated to royalty, unrelated to anything other than the first settlers of New England. So I just wanted to bring it up. And having done that, now I can get it off my desk. Uh, we have two new books here at Heritage Books that we published. Both of them are by uh, Betty Jewell Durbin Carson. One of them is William Riley of Connecticut, 1798 to 1873 of Connecticut and Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. His descendants in southeastern Pennsylvania and Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's a thin one. And then a little thicker one on... John Thomas Carson, 1520 to 1570, uh, Down County, Northern Ireland. Lots of pictures, lots of stuff. You know, so those these are our two uh, newest books here at Heritage Books. I'm hoping that we will have some more fairly soon, but then I make that hope every Sunday. Hope springs eternal trying to think what else uh, we've we've added um, most of the texas marriage books from mountain press have now been added some of the missouri books from mountain press have been added we're constantly adding new books from well they're not really new but they're new to us I, at least we haven't sold them in years the southern historical press books where we've got all the i think almost all the arkansas books up um, and gradually, I mean, we have all, all of their states represented, but we're going through the list one by one and making sure that we have 
and doing it by state and making sure that we have uh, everything available. Southern Historical Press has, at last count, although their list that they sent me doesn't appear to be complete, we we have them for all the books now in stock, I believe, for Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, some family histories, all their family histories, uh, the Spanish land grants in Florida. Actually, it's uh, five volumes. I actually was going to... Um, reprint that myself. I found a Works Progress Administration copy, and I have to do the comparison between what I have from the Works Progress Administration and what that is to see, and I just haven't done that yet, because the my Works Progress Administration set is at the house, and I, I, this week I'm going to go and get it and fix it and make sure I understand what the difference is between these and see if I need to print the Works Progress Administration piece if it's different than this work progress administration piece, can't tell at this point. Uh, and that also includes a, a book I had not seen before and haven't talked about before, The Loyalists in East Florida. So those are all the Florida books. And then we have uh, many of the Georgia books. And that's what we're focusing on getting in right now is the Georgia books, of which there are many. Um, Southern Historical Press has a total of about, let's see, 892 books that we hope to have um, copies of all of them. And we we have probably five to 600 of them in stock currently. We're doing the same thing with Genealogical Publishing Company. They have about 1,900 titles and we're doing the same thing. Every, every time we order for them, we order something that we don't already have. So we're adding to those. So I don't, I can't tell whether I've talked about this or not. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, they aren't in the system yet, but I, um, but I'll get them in this week. Um, Joseph Lee Boyle has published something new relating to the Revolutionary War. These are military desertions during the American Revolution, 1775 to 1783. It's two volumes, one's from the beginning of the war, one's from the end of the war. Um, he loves a good deal of rum is his subtitle. So they cover from 1775 to 1783, and they split at 30 June, 1777. And so what we're dealing with here are, again, desertions. And my, my imagine, I haven't gone through it yet, but my imagination is that what he did was look at the various order books and look at the um, orders out of the order books, the company order books, the regimental order books, and was able to pull this together. There is a book that I talked about today. I did a Ventura County Genealogical Society talk today on a South Carolina soldier who moved to Georgia in the revolution and how to do, research him. And I will get that up on YouTube this week. It's about an hour long, so it's much more longer, but it's a step-by-step -step look at how to do revolutionary war research. Um, you could also see the same thing out on um, Legacy Family Tree, but a different soldier. Um, and I'll, I'm looking forward to creating over time the step instead of doing how to things relating to the military i want to do the step by step here's what you do here's here's why you do it here's the result of what you do if you get this do that that kind of thing and i'm having a lot of luck it's i, I think it came from once i shaved my head all of a sudden i started thinking differently but anyway two volume set on military desertions during the american revolution i'm Excellent. Boyle is excellent at what he does. We actually have, I think, an eight volume set at Heritage Books of uh, letters from Valley Forge that he has put together over the years that is excellent for getting insight to what life is like in the American Revolution. So this has been Craig. This has been Book Sunday. I love talking to books about books. If there's a book you want me to talk about, let me know, because I love talking about books. And uh, it's what I do. I make them. I talk about them. I sell them. Somebody told me today that what I really want to do is sell books. That's not true. I only sell books so I can continue to do what I do, which is hopefully help you all become better genealogists. 
If there's something you need to know that you think might make you a better genealogist, that's what my YouTube channel, Just Genealogy, is all about. Remember, converting people doing just genealogy into genealogists day by day. Too much fun. I'm still exhausted from coming back from Tennessee. The barbecue wasn't that great, but the catfish was to die for. I'll be doing a video on the Tennessee Genealogical Society Library. I visited them. They gave me permission to film pieces of it. So I've got pieces of it filmed. I had a really good time in Tennessee. And um, their library is excellent. And if you've got a library that you want me to come and visit, then set it up. We can work on that. The van is almost done. In another six weeks, it probably will be done. And I'll be on the road. That'll be fun doing YouTube videos from the road. I tested that. I've got a holder with, you know, so I can drive down the road and talk to you all without not paying attention to the road. I don't know how that'll work, but, or I can turn the camera around and show you mountain vistas as I drive down the road. Maybe I'll have a YouTube channel with nothing but me taking photographs of roadways with music or something. You know, there are those kind of videos. I don't know why I would want to do that or why I would listen to those videos, but hey, who knows? If there's anything that you think I can do to improve our situation here at Just Genealogy and Heritage Books for that matter, uh, just let me know. And I will do what I can do. So this is Craig. This has been Just Genealogy and another book Sunday. I will see you tomorrow.